Let's have a look at how to write a method. Remember to use steps and number the steps. One, two, three, four, and so on. Always start your instructions with a verb. So release your inner bossy self. Remember that your method should be aimed at a person who is the same level of science as you. So you don't need to explain absolutely everything. So notice I didn't put anything about a gauze in step two. They'll know how to do that. table needs to be drawn in pencil. Use a ruler to rule the right number of columns that you need for the data you are collecting. Have two lines at the top for the name of the column and the units. So you can fill it in in pencil or in pen name of the column and then the units. You might be able to plan out the first column before you start experimenting. In the second column you fill out whilst you're collecting data during the experiment. You'll notice there are no units in with the numbers. We don't need them because they're already at the top of the column. Let's look at how to draw up a line graph. Normally we would use a pencil. It's very difficult to show a pencil on this paper, so I'm going to use a pen. You need two axes for your data, and you use a ruler to draw them. On the x axis, you put the data which is in your independent variable, that's the one that you planned out um, at the beginning of the experiment before you started collecting your data. You make sure that the scale is even, so for every two blocks here I've got one and another one and another one, so my scale is evenly distributed along the whole axis. The y-axis, the vertical axis, will contain the dependent variable, and that's the variable you measured during the experiment. Again, remember that your scale must be evenly spread along the whole length of the axis. I've made sure that both my axes are labelled and have units. Now we can plot the points onto the graph. You plot them with a small, neat cross. And when you have all the crosses on your graph, you can draw a line of best fit using a ruler and you try to go through as many points as possible and if they don't all fit on the line you try to balance the points that are above the line and the points that are below the line so that they are even. 
one single line to join them all together. The last thing that this graph needs is a title. The title should make sense and link to the experiment that you did. I have tried to include both of the axes in the title. The time taken and the idea that we were looking at heat and temperature changes.